here we are at Goose Island. Oh, I guess we're running about 6.30. Running a little bit late. Looks like I'm not the only fisherman out on the water, though. Got a little competition, so they got up earlier than I did. I guess I'll get on out there. I'm going to work this little shoreline here. I don't know how well you can see that oyster shell, but anyway, it's been hanging me up. I'm going to give this a try now. That oyster shell was causing such a drag. It was making it look like I was getting a bite every few seconds. So what I ended up going was just kind of a weedless little two, two inch gulf, gulp shrimp. And uh, now I don't even have a weight on it. I had to go ahead and just, I'm going to go real light. I'm going to troll one of these back behind me in this rig. And then I'm going to just cast this other one with this lighter pole here. Here's what my bait's looking like when it's moving through the water. Just giving it some little taps. Now I've come back up on the upwind side of this grass. Now I'm going to try to work back down through here. I can see some kind of little fish are working the water. Maybe there'll be a trout or a little redfish in there amongst them. Alright, I got a little bite. I don't know what it is, but I got my drag set pretty light. It's pulling a little bit of drag. It's probably just a little sand trout or something. Got a little pull to it. Oh, pulling a little drag. There, it's starting to flash a little color now. Oh, it's a little, little redfish, it looks like. See if we can get them over here. I'm going to bring it around this other side because it's trying to wrap on my line a little bit. Let me see if I can get it up here in the boat. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's a pretty good one. Probably about 19 inches maybe. Let me see if I can get that hook right up. This is just some kind of little... Alright, uh, come back up in this grass because that last ploy worked pretty good where I would just kind of drift through it with the wind and I got another bite on that little two inch gulp shrimp and this time I got my drag set a little bit tighter I was doing too much winding and I ended up just twisting my line all up so I had to end up cutting it cutting it out and uh, now I got my drag set a little bit tighter so you can see it's and not be able to pull that drag so good. But I'm going to let him work just a little bit to kind of get him tired out here. He's going under the boat. I don't want him to get too much slack. Oh yeah. Get him out from under that boat. I've got another line out in the back and I'm afraid he's going to get all twisted up in it. That's another little red. Apparently they're in here working these, working this oyster shell. I was having trouble with my Carolina rig. Let me see if I can get that fish in here. That's a pretty good one. Got a little double spot on it. You can see that little gulp shrimp, little two inch gulp shrimp with a worm hook. Did him right. Oh, he's still a little green. All right, let me see if I can get that hook out of him. Get this line back in the water. 
Well, it turns out this one is 19 inches and 20 inches is the limit, so I'm afraid this one's get to go back. There she goes. For fishing and kayaking videos, click over here. For motorcycle adventures, click on over here. To see more hunting, run and gun, and wild game recipes, click right here. And to see some home fix it and a little automotive repair, click right on over here.